Okay, as uh, as you know, I'm a, a great proponent of torque, and uh, you know, uh, I believe that torque is easier. Torque lateral torque is easier than uh, flipping, even though I'm a great proponent of flipping also. Um, but in, in when you're using lateral torque, you're 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 throwing a guy off of his feet, but you're using gravity. Okay, when you're when you're using uh, vertical torque, flipping, you're throwing a guy onto his feet. Okay, so you're fighting against gravity. Now, if you can stand him up, blah blah blah, it's all good. And then you can push him. Okay, but uh, had uh, Coach JB once again uh, had a question on a play that we ran against Bowling Green in 2015. We lost the game, but stuff looks pretty good. We're running a power, and we were we were in a gap entry. Okay, we had a sidecar back over here who meshed with the guard and bounced the thing, and it went pretty good. But here's what I think was happening. As a matter of fact, I know it was happening. Okay, center was blocking back. He was he he did a pretty good job. He is he is in the match area, okay, of a power play. That's the way he is. Here's a stovepipe right here. Okay. The guard set the, the hay bale. We were using hay bale concept at the time. So he was basically just turning himself into an apex. He was a rock. Okay, and it was a square shoulder thing. You know, we've since gone to the shoulder roll, uh, but same idea. He's he's supposed to set this guy up for a tee shot. Here's the golf club right here. Okay, so he skips. He he moves his outside foot first, and then he blasts this guy pretty good with his. But he's got to keep his shoulder square. If he shoulder turns, we got a problem. Now. What we do now is we we skip square and cover and flip because we want to get close to the guard. We want to touch the guard, scrape paint off the guard, okay? And because the guard is using a shoulder roll, he's a little bit further inside. This guard was, was using a different technique, the hay bale technique, okay? So he was going to grab this guy with two hands right away. And this is more like what we do on the accordion side. He was, you could say he was digging, okay? Uh, the footwork doesn't show that, uh, but I believe he steps with his inside foot. Well, this guy blasts this thing and knocks it over pretty good, and the guard throws, throws the defender out of the stovepipe. And my contention is this. When you're throwing, which is very powerful, okay, and the idea, the, the original concept was that this guy is a bale of hay, and I'm throw, I'm a farmer throwing him into the back of the truck. But you're throwing him out, out of the stovepipe. Now, the tight end kind of, I don't know, he was a sniffer, was a little wider. I, I, I didn't coach those guys, but we may have, we may have um, talked about the width of the thing, you know, maybe to set up the pin and pull, uh, which we didn't even run. I, if I remember correctly, he didn't run unless we were on the line. So I don't know why he was that wide. I would rather have had him get leverage by alignment and be here. But what he did was he threw this guy into the stovepipe. He threw him into the stovepipe. Now that affected the wrapper who wants to go right here. And it also affected the sidecar back who meshed nicely with the wrapper and the whole thing bounced. And it looks pretty, but you know the rapper man. The rapper was a pretty good athlete. Uh, he's he, he's a pit man for NASCAR right now. Believe it or not, pretty should have been pro. There's a, a long story, but anyway, he got to he got to the plus one backer. We were in the point system at the time. And the minus was right over the or the point rather was right over the uh, right over the center. But by throwing this guy into the stovepipe, he picked the tackle. The tackle got trapped. He, the tackle probably could have fought his way through, okay? Uh, and what I would like him to do is, as soon as he felt that pressure, go build, it, build pressure back and see if he could push the thing deeper. But this guy allowed penetration between him and him, which is a no-no. You don't ever want... To, to allow penetration to your seaside. But by throwing this guy, there was nothing. I mean, 
by throwing them. You can't control where you throw them. Okay, this guy did a pretty good job. He stayed with his cat, stayed with him, you know, a couple yards down the field. He threw him right into the, the wrapper and the back, and everything had to spill. Now, he had enough. This guy had a lot of punch. He was a strong kid. But by doing that, he picked him and, and disrupted both of these guys. So the, the lesson or the moral of the story is when you throw, and throwing is powerful, Okay, there's a difference between throwing and tearing. He should have torn this guy, and if he had torn him and not allowed him to split uh, him in the tackle, the thing would have pile drive that would have been more pushed in this way, and we would have had a shot, okay, to, a better shot to go downhill, and we would have had a shot if we had torn to pick that point backer up. Okay, but he threw. So he threw him into the tackle and forced both of these guys to funnel outside. Now he, by tearing, they might have they might have uh, taken it outside anyway, and he may have turned a little bit too fast, but he sk he definitely skipped out square. Okay, so I don't know what the hell JB was looking at. I don't know. I mean, come on, man, watch a damn film. But anyway, I found the thing and. Uh, it's, uh, you know, the, the, the hay bale looks pretty good. I, I like it. It's just this cat let him let him get picked and the whole thing spilled. And if you watch uh, games on TV, a lot of times the big, the big power plays do spill. Uh, the problem is, of course, overhang and then the point backer. So, uh, like I say, it's better to be uh, lucky than good, okay? Uh, you got to be good, though, okay? So that's, that's the way I would have coached it. Um, you can tear a man into the stovepipe. You can tear him past the stovepipe, but you can't throw him into the stovepipe. Okay, use the, use the uh, concept of circular force appropriately, and you're in pretty good shape.